Jesus explains, after the rapture, what is planned and how to evade capture. May the Lord give us courage and hope, heart dwellers. I began tonight's prayer with, Jesus, there is so much I want to understand, but mostly I want to hear what you want to talk about. Jesus answered, Very well then, let's discuss war, famine, and pestilence in this country, the horses of the apocalypse. Famine deliberately engineered is coming. Disease deliberately engineered is coming. Much death and destruction is looming over this nation. I have not yet allowed it to touch down, but everyone has a sense that it is coming. Not many understand it is the sins of this nation that will bring it down. What this country has sown militarily, it shall reap. Instability, famine, fear, atrocities, all these things are waiting in the wings to be turned loose on this nation. I have warned people for years upon years upon years, and only because my mercy has delayed it, I have not been taken seriously by the general population. So eaten up with greed and accumulating goods are they, even those who call themselves my own. But when the fabric of this nation dissolves, the only ones to escape will be those who follow me without wavering. And yet there will be martyrdom for some. That will be a crown, not a punishment. For a while after the devastation hits, there will be unprecedented conversions until the government can regroup and begin the regime of the Antichrist. Many have already been conscripted to his service in underground cities. Those that survived, that is. Many have also been trained and ready for induction, and it is just a matter of time before they swing into action. Military defeat is key to placing America under one world rule. Though the communists and other regimes are used to bring this nation down, in the end they too will yield to the one world rule. In short, all are working together networked into a massive conglomeration of nations under the strictest control of the Antichrist. As things become more organized and young adults are enthusiastically offering their lives to the world government, things will become tighter and tighter and stricter and more difficult to slip through unnoticed. This is when the mark, the mark of the beast, will be instituted. The Jewish people will be the leading number one force of evangelization worldwide. They will be dedicated to bringing in the reign of Messiah upon earth. Neither family nor life will stop them in their seal. Rather they will be on fire and infused with a special anointing to carry out my will. The most opportune time to escape government control will be immediately after the disasters, because many will be presumed to be dead. That will be before organization sets in, although that will happen very quickly as food, water and medical necessities will be offered through their agency and they will take down names and numbers for future reference. In this way they can catalog very quickly who is still living by offering necessities. Those who do not come forth, they will assume, have been killed. They are relying on people's vulnerabilities for them to come forward for aid. Those who have no need for that will more easily escape, being brought in captive. In fact, in many places that are feeding stations, people will be detained and placed in holding facilities. At first, this will look like benevolence on the part of the government, when in fact it is merely a way to dispose of them. Do not, under any circumstances, go forward for aid. And at this point, as the Lord was talking, I saw something like a Red Cross vehicle. 
taking people to a triage or hospital unit, which is behind barbed wire. The people thought they were getting medical treatment, but they will actually be incarcerated until their fate is decided. Oh Lord, this is heavy dark stuff, so heavy and so dark. I know, but I'm forewarning you who will listen here. I'm telling what is planned for those who find themselves left behind. The only way to escape at this point is to rely totally on me for healing and food. One good rule of thumb, eat what the wildlife eat, watch where the birds and bees if you can find any, go for water. Many will lose a great deal of weight living on a foraging diet, but there will be times when I will miraculously intervene and provide food when there is no hope for food. Remember always only two things are needed for a healing, a sick patient and a believing Christian. When that Christian calls upon me to heal, whether it be out loud or quietly from the heart, I will reach through them and heal those who are sick. Nothing more is needed. Healing has become some sort of miracle cult, where people with the gift are worshipped rather than what it truly is, the natural consequence of me living inside of you and every other believer who has opened the door of their hearts to me. And a word to the wise. Children will betray parents. Parents will betray children. You cannot rely on blood ties. Human nature will fail you. There will be so much fear and betrayal that no one can be trusted unless I personally impart the witness to you that they are for real. As was done in one country, men with machine guns crashed through a church service and declared, all of you who are Christians line up against that wall. The rest of you are free to go. More than half the congregation left. Then the men put their guns down and said, Good, now let's have church. Yes, it will be very much like that, except out in the wilderness, not in churches, which will be seized by the government and taken over for their own purposes. As the Lord was speaking, I saw barbed wire fences enclosing mega church parking lots. But the wire was on the inside, and it was obvious that those inside were captive. My people, even if they should bring you before the executioner for your faith in me, be not afraid. In seconds I will embrace you for eternity. Mercy will surround and anesthetize you in those last moments. Supernatural peace will also engulf you as you are led forth to execution. I know it is hard for you to accept now, and even some of you tremble in fear, but I tell you the truth. It will be much harder for those who must live hidden lives than for those who come to me early for their faith. In any case, I will be at your right hand and waiting for you to join me in eternity, where I have joy eternal planned for you, and you will forever be joined to me.